Before this video begins, I'd like to give a huge thanks to my channel members, who you can see on screen now. Become a member by hitting the join button and get your name here among other awards today. Hello there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 3 today, we're continuing on with Let's Play, this is episode 106, and in today's episode we are taking a look at the Class B World Championship for Class B cars, and it's a World Championship. <gasps> For that, we are using the 2010 Hyundai HKS Genesis Coupe, because Ooh. it's not in any other game, and it's kind of cool, I guess. Can, can you feel it coming in the air tonight? It's kind of ugly, gotta be honest, but, you know, like that front bumper is not a good looking front bumper, but how does the rear end of this look? Eh, oh, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's it's not a great looking car, but you know. I don't I don't like how it looks like it's got fat cheat. Yes. Anyways, Class B World Championship. This champion event offers a world ch class challenge for Class B cars. It's six races long. It's Sebring full circuit first. There's also a lot of money in this event. This is probably going to be the event where we get Class uh, Level Five car um, affinity, which will be cool. <laughs> Yay. The Stanley Steamer. What a name. <laughs> I don't like the name Steamer. I think this car has the stock lights on it. I think this is how the Genesis looks like stock. Yeah, that's the stock Could be Genesis. Wrong. Yeah. The first stock first gen Genesis. Oh yeah, I forgot you actually have history with Genesis, don't you? No. Well, you know someone who has one. Yeah, I know someone who had a 600 horsepower Genesis, but that was the later model. Uh oh. How old did that end? 600. Well, he's, he's constantly modifying it, so... Didn't it, like, explode with coolant and shit? Or? Yeah, the... The problem was he didn't put strong enough uh, head bolts on it. When... Oh. That's not good. Oop. Hello? 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 Uh, Hello. What this could be. Yeah, that, those are standard Genesis taillights, I think. Actually, now that I say it, I'm not sure. Are those standard Genesis? Mm, I'm not sure. It's very much a standard Genesis interior. Also, there is a Honda NSXR GT behind us. Right, my internet just died. Oh, I was. I thought it was IU just died. Uh. Oh. Um. Yeah, he, he, he put uh, not strong enough uh, head bolts onto his engine. Oh. So the head bolt stretched, and when he got onto it, the head. The head lifted and cool and rushed into one of the cylinders. Ow. That's not good. So it became a five cylinder. <laughs> no, it became a three cylinder. I thought Genesis is a six cylinder. No, his was a his is the two liter turbo bored out to a two point five liter. Oh. Interesting. And at about 11 o'clock at night, we had a pool of coolant in a gas station. I'd hate to know what that convoy consisted of. I'm gonna get sleep. Not get sleep. Uh, it consisted get of my okay. Firebird, a Genesis, two 350Zs, and another Genesis. I like how you have like the only, like, not modern car in there. <laughs> I think there was some, something else on there as well. Can't remember what it was. Hmm. The interior is okay, better than the inside of an 87 Dodge Ares. Shame it isn't red for the I just can't get along with Hyundai's in general. I just don't like them. They look weird. There's too many. The problem with Hyundai's is they just constantly look like they're over-designed. I like, I like the Genesis. It looks nice. <laughs> I mean, that's because they are. Yeah, yes, but, but like the Genesis still. Oh god, I just realised this car has like a 
little HKS symbol on the hood. That's cute. It's always like it's made by HKS. <laughs> HK, yes. I have no idea what HKS did to it. I, oh. I like I like the lighter gem better. Oh. That's what HKS did to it. <laughs> what? what do you do? It makes 440 horsepower and 24 pounds of boost. Oh. I have no idea That's if this has got a V6 or if it's the 2 litre turbo. I'm assuming, considering oh. the other one in this game is a V6, oh. it's a V6. I can't, uh, from the sound alone, I can't really tell. Also, for some reason, your fucking stream is lagging as fuck to me. Is it lagging for anyone else? No, I think it's me. It, it's, you're not the only person who does that. No. Even though my internet is good enough to do anything, the streams sometimes it's like, nope. <coughs> They're recycled Mitsubishi engine designs. Are they still using recycled Mitsubishi engines? I thought Hyundai, because I, I mean, the, the first generation Hyundai Equus was developed as a Mitsubishi, but... Oh, the, H, the HKS is a 2 liter turbo. Oh, is it? Apparently. Yeah. Oh, it's an actual real car. Does it say what they did to it? Part, oh. They put parts on to it to make it go fast. <laughs> Good insight by the Scotian racer, as always. So basically, this is what your friend's Genesis is if it was, like, mm, slightly less chaotic. Okay, yeah, re Pretty restart, much, re rebooting my, my ball so I can see the thing. Well, I mean, oh. him, and his, him and his dad built a com GT500 convertible. Why is it convertible? Because they, he likes convertible cars. Which one? The 2013. Yes. It only has about a thousand horsepower. So it's a thousand horsepower and when it eventually falls over it will rip your head off as well. Nice. Mm -hmm. The Sinatra. Yeah, the Sinatra is an interesting car. I mean, it has handling bits on it and it has carbon fiber on it, so. Mm -hmm. I like the time. My mother actually likes the high on dive lost, or I think she kind of wants one. I mean, both. Yeah. Both of the cars are made for the track, so. Yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting a thousand horsepower GT500 to be like, this is my daily driver. The upcoming car pass cars look interesting. Um, I'm not actually aware of what all of them are. I know the. New, um, I forget which one they call it now. The Griffiths in there, which makes me very sexual, because I've seen a Griffith in real life and the Incredible Cars. Oh yeah, you saw one. They also sound fucking phenomenal as well. So. Yeah, I saw a purple. One. Wait, on the road? Okay. No, uh, um, the daughter show. Yeah, it was forty. Yeah. yeah. I didn't go this year. I was kind of yeah, sad on that. I was kind of sad on that cruise. On on that cruise though, because every car was faster than mine. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not being funny. One guy has a 600 horsepower Genesis. You have a 130 horsepower Firebird. Everyone else has like a 350Z or something. <laughs> hey, I mean, at least you had six cylinders. And I was just like, hey, wait for me. <laughs> One day, Scotian. That Firebird will be like, Or it will be a different Firebird, depending. Depending. <laughs> yeah, if you find like a 70s Firebird with a manual, maybe that will, you know. Nah, he's going to get the WS6. I'll be honest, I'll, I want a... I want a 3rd gen charger. Which one's the 3rd gen? Uh, the, the Dodge Charger from Gran Turismo. The 71. Oh, the big blocky one? Yeah. Blocky Maya here. Well, yeah, because the 69 is too expensive, I imagine, right? Because Dukes of Hazard exists. The 68 is probably too expensive because Fast and Furious Dukes. exists. And 70 is too expensive because Fast and Furious exists. 
Yeah, the... Yeah, fucking... Well, it's not even... It's not even because of them. Fucking Bull exists. Vanishing yeah, Point yeah. exists. Actually, no, Vanishing Point was a challenger. Yeah, that they had a they had a 68 Charger chase in, in like, one scene. Oh, did they? Yeah, it was I just black. remember the Challenger because I had that on the cars of the silver screen special. Oh, oh, oh god, I, I just sort of think they, the fourth generation, how oh, dare they call that Charger? Yeah, the fucking Malaise era one. Yeah, the Malaise era Tracer Fedora. The Roadrunner. <laughs> the Roadrunner didn't look that bad in 1975, it just looks like a 70, uh, 1970 Monte Carlo. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they changed the styling in the 70s <coughs> and just. I know, obviously, the cards of that era were more sort of like Americans just want to be on their couch at all times, but it's a little weird how the styling got a lot weaker as well. And again, wasn't it like safety regulations and shit? What one? The, like, in the what 70s, then like a load of American safety regulations come in and basically kill a lot of shit. Because they were really. Like, Chrysler Cordova, yeah. No, really, it was just fucking EPA wrecking the floor with the uh, catalytic conversion shit. Hmm. The Super B looking one. <laughs> yeah, that's the 71 charge. And you just. And insurance prices <clears throat> took a hike on muscle cars. That's just a point. So, that, that's a car I wouldn't mind having in Forza <coughs> if we're talking like muscle so, cars. I wouldn't mind having like a 71 Super B charger. Uh, and, oh yeah, I forgot that they tried to, re to revive it in, uh, well, the 20% discount on intake manifold and throttle bodies by Jureddy, not HKS, and a 20% discount on oil and cooling by HKS. Yeah, fucking... Uh, well... Yes and... No, because the 71... You, we already had the 71 GTX, so... The oh, they're take. basically the same car. Yeah. Castle and Grand Prix is next. As I try to reach for my hoodie without disconnecting myself. <coughs> it's just that the 71 Ow. Charger has is more of a nostalgia thing to me because I've actually ridden one. Also, Gran Turismo. I never played Gran Turismo. Uh, TVR Griffith, TVR Tuscan, Cadillac Escalade, Cadillac Eldorado. That's the full. <laughs> The, yeah, th th that irritates me, the fucking 300ZX becoming a DLC car, it's like fucking, I paid for that shit, I can fall to 7. I also, yeah, the yeah, game. yeah, the 4th the, the and 5th generation stick out, like, what the fuck happened there? Yeah, and then isn't the 6th generation the modern day charger? Yeah, yeah, the modern one. I really like the, um, the first gen modern day chargers, the 06 ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Need for yeah, Speed mean... car ones. Yeah. Especially like the, uh, didn't they do like a Daytona and shit for those? Yeah, they did a Super V version, which my aunt had, and it was a V6 for some reason. Oh. I like that almost as much as I like the Magnum. The they Magnum's did, Yeah, cool. they, they, they mm -hmm. did the Daytona RT and the S38 and the Super V. Again, we don't get the Magnum because we actually had a prize of the 300C <laughs> oh station wagon for some Oh god. They, they actually oh. made... The Emil, I just found out thing they made an, an official dub edition. Oh god. Created oh, actually, do you want to know... Sorry to interrupt you, do you want to know an interesting fact? Yeah. Yeah. The Dodge Magnum is actually test drive stream car. Oh. I can... I, I respect him. He actually uh, really wants a V8 Magnum, I think. So, so let, let me Eldorado. read... Go on. Okay. Let me read... Created with Dub Magazine, this version is based on the Charger 60. It includes a body color spoiler, fog lamps, 20 inch alloy, alloy wheels with 245. Oh, wasn't that in Midnight Club LA? Maybe. <coughs> Maybe. I know uh, they have like the info... Dub Edition Merch Lago and shit. A, a multi multimedia infotainment system with 13 speakers, surround sound system, 322 watt amplifier, 100 watt subwoofer, upgraded brakes. With dual prison clipper and XR color red, black, silver, and cool vanilla and dark titanium. Do you know the ironic two, thing? They hmm? made 2,180 of those nice. for the US. Do you know the ironic thing? <coughs> yeah. yeah. I think my Accord has like 10 speakers. Because <coughs> it has like <laughs> an Alpine stereo, so. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I mean. I know the fucking I mean, rear speakers terrify the shit out of me. 
Why? I mean, I mean, I mean, to be honest, post 2005, if you don't have at least five speakers, you're crazy. Yeah, I know the yeah. Lexus <laughs> I was looking at, the Mark Leverson thing, which was 14. Jesus. Speakers, but yeah. The um the rear speakers in the Accord terrify the shit out of me. Why? Why? Because for whatever reason, they're in the, like the rear. I, I don't want to call it a parcel shelf because obviously it's a sling card and that parcel shelf. But they're mounted in there, and for whatever reason, Honda did not put any coverage whatsoever underneath that like part. So basically, the speakers are just all exposed and shit. And I just have this vision one day of putting something big in there, it's just going to conk a speaker and knock it out. But I'm assuming they like built them relatively tough. But I might look into maybe seeing if there's like a weird like protector you can get for them, maybe like a box or something. Fun. Oh boy. Yeah. Go on. The car and response channel I've ridden in that one when I was a kid. I was looking a bit. I'd like to see the estate versions of the V10 M5 and the C63 AMG. That'd be interesting. I'm trying to think of... Is there any other estate versions of stuff I'd like to see? I mean, estate versions of cars are always welcome. Forza could have the Citroen yeah. Ami 8 for super quirkiness. Hell yeah. Oh, a meal. Make you hand crank it every single time it shows up. Yeah? I mean, 1970 A Ford LTD station wagon. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Bring the county squire back. Bring the Buick Roadmaster estate in. Yes. Oh, like that. What was that thing they had on RCR? Like the 1990 Buick estate that looked like it was from like the 70s. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, I think it's. Bring that have like a big V8 in it as well. Bring the Grum on the Forza Forza Seven. Yeah. Bring the Pacer to Horizon Four. <laughs> Imagine if Playgrounds added the modifications to turn the Eldorado into the Electro one. I'm assuming it's probably just going to have whatever the Eldorado had in Falls of Fall. I think it did actually have some body mods in Falls of Fall, but I don't know if they were interesting at all. I don't think they were that interesting. Maybe I'll actually play Horizon 4 now. <laughs> <laughs> I need a reason to play that game more. <coughs> There's just nothing to do, that's the issue. As you tell a lie, I think I have like some stuff to complete on fucking... Um, what was the expansion called? Fortune Island. Yeah, I think I have like some races to do on Fortune Island, but I don't know if I can be arsed or not. I, ha I haven't even fucking looked at that expansion yet. Fortune Island's pretty... have you got it? Yeah, I got it. It's pretty good actually, to be honest with you. It's kind of fun. You also get an achievement for sending a Moorish Traveller to space, so that's something. Mm. I don't like sending Moorish Travellers to space. To be honest with you, actually, that might not be a bad idea. Mm. Do you want to co-op campaign that expansion just so I can fucking get some money? Because <clears throat> I could also <laughs> just show you where all the treasure chests are, because I bought the treasure map. Oh, like we did on the last time, and then everyone showed up. Yeah, well, we'll just make sure no one shows up to this one. <laughs> or, like, restrict it to, like, four people. So we don't have Caleb sat there. Yeah, you know what would be great if we played online? Like, no, Caleb. Go away, Caleb. It's 5 a.m., Caleb. Fuck off, Caleb. <laughs> the Super Impressor Estate would be a nice addition. Um, well, as I would buy the game immediately. Yeah. And then you fucking. I'd also buy the game immediately if they had And then you board. fucking shoved Bentley into a small space. Oh yeah, the fucking Bentega. <laughs> Big Daddy Benty. The Legnum should be in water. Well, not fail races like them because that's broken, but... Nah, fail races like them. It's also 15 different colours at the moment. Yeah, you... Yeah, you could like make a really popular skin with just like the one panel being slightly off colour. I imagine AK would do that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't know. If you want to play Fortune Island co op, hit me up because I'd do it. Yeah, sure. Just again, money. 
I mean, I got everything I need, so... Well, there's like four cards you get from the treasure chest, so... All of them's the Sully. And the car. Which is cool. And the, well, the cars out. And the cars I want are in the fucking dealership, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because basically all you wanted was like the fucking Traveler and I'm assuming like the Ram or something, right? Yeah, the Ram that I never used. Oh, by the way, as soon as you get to Fortune Island, you're going to get one anyway. Oh. They give you another one for like the intro. <laughs> what really should return to Forza? Saab. I mean, it's all pretty cool. Toyota! Yeah, I've seen the Final Fantasy Regelia monster thing. It's an interesting thing. Thing. Actually, you know, you know what I thought mm. uh, when the Hillman came in, came in the fucking thing. Mm. I thought it was that fucking communist car that Clarkson drove that one time. What the Hillman? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I guess uh, the helmet was kind of made by communists. The car looks like the communist car that fucking Clarkson drove and he took off the floor pan and fished. Oh, God. <laughs> Listen, do not disrespect the Hillman Imp. It's the best car in the world. Again, I love the fact that Hillman... The Hillman just has a weird history to it. The wheels are bigger than appeal. That's Russian. I can read like one word in Russian, and that's not one of them. <laughs> Speaking of communism. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we can't understand you, friend. What did I. I, I can do Rako beat! And, um. The Ruchnoi. Prolo Granata. Or something like that. Which is like RPG. I, I thought the yep yeah. was that. It's 969. <coughs> you thought the imp was a yeah. <laughs> the zap. We need more communist cars in that game. We need like a lot of fucking estate. They need incorrect Germany cars. What, like the fucking... Um... Oh, do like communist Germany cars where you had like the yeah. um... What, you could have... Trabant and like the uh, the the mm. Wartburg. Yes. Two exactly. the two stroke Wartburg or like that car that they made out of fabric. The what? Have you never seen that? No. In like the seventies, they literally just made a car out of like leather and fabric. <laughs> Fucking hell. Because they decided metal was too expensive. <laughs> the result was. Not pretty, or practical, or good. EMW328. I know the BMW 328 is in Forza, the like 30s one. And across the line in the Hutchkus. Uh, we get 1400 XP, level 3, 20% discount on intercool upgrades by HKS. A lever car, yeah. Let me check response channel. Also, oh god, Sedona Fall, ew. Oh god, that TVR. It's the TVR Tina is a ugly thing. You've driven in that charger. That charger looks amazing. Mm-hmm. The Soviet knockoff beam. The Communist Cars Top Gear episode was a great one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking the one where they're like riding around in Wild and Nevers and stuff. You know what Forza really needs, don't you? What? Tata Nano. Yeah! That would be fucking. Oh, by fun. the way, you. Didn't scroll through what was happening in Ample Chat yesterday, did you? Who? You. I didn't particularly, why? Oh, good. Jeresa found a Tatar Nano waifu. They what? Yeah. Uh, I scroll up through Ample Chat and I just see fucking Goshen say you need the full fart pack. 
thanks, Goshen. Good old Skosh. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, you've seen Tata and I know why for you. I'm sorry, but what? who the fuck didn't pin that? I was going to, but... There's also, like, Mazda FC fucking waifus for some reason. No one cares about that. Well, LRC did. Because he That's immediately LRC. got dirty thoughts about his car. Oh shit, bad fuck. My nose is itching. <laughs> also, by the way, the latest edition of Ford's Top Gear Lamps has gone up, so there you go, something to watch oh, on the it? stream. Yes. The Hot Lovely. Wheels Special. Do you know what stroked me, actually? What? The twin mill has the same face as the Sparta does. Oh. I've now ruined the twin mill forever. Yeah. Because it has the same sort of weird pointy light shit that car had. Come get spoilers for Forza Top Gear lap. You want spoilers? Yeah, what was the crappiest car? Well, the twin wheel you literally can't fucking see out of. The I mean, it's obviously because, you know, you've got two massive bug catchers in there. The bone shaker's shit. In terms of literal performance. Oh, do you mean like what was the slowest thing? Yeah. I think it was the rip rod, but it was actually an extremely quick car for what it is. Because the I'm rip so rod, the rip rod's like high D class, and it was like literally beat. I think it beat the Lotus Elise 111 S, which is basically like a leaderboard car. That shouldn't do that. In C class. Don't. That car also got beaten by something else this week, but you'll see that later on. Oh boy. I need to write the script for that actually as well. It might be tomorrow's job. Wonder how Xbox Live coming to the Nintendo Switch is gonna work. I mean ironically enough, people are like saying this like it's a big deal, but you had to on the Wii U to play Minecraft, you had to have Xbox Live, so That's Wii U, no one can remember that. It's basically the only reason it's happening is because they want to do cross platform and Microsoft and Nintendo are like, hey, let's do cross-platform, and Sony's like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> uh, remember when everyone said the, everyone yeah, fucking the fucking Sony one is on Yeah. Oh yeah, Rocket League finally came to PS4, didn't it? Cross-plat. Mm -hmm. Because Rocket League. Yeah. Do you remember how like it. right at the start everyone was bidding fucking Sony to win this generation? Well, I mean, it's usually what happens in a generation is whoever starts winning it gets cocky, becomes a cock, and then loses the next generation, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Like that guy who was just like, oh, well, if you want to play the Xbox offline, we have a console for those people, it's called the 360. Didn't he get fired for that? Yeah. Good. And then Phil Spencer took over, who actually somewhat knows what he's doing. Oh. So I was it's the usual thing in business. Articles. You become a better businessman when your company is on its arse. Yeah. Look at EA. Yeah, well, they still haven't been. They still aren't the best thing ever. Well, like in the mid 2000s, they were actually okay. Yeah. When then you had they burnout and bad. leaf speed and. Then they shot themselves in the food. Then them saying they wanted to, you know, keep some studios alive and shit. And they made like Dead Space and stuff, and then it all went to shit. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, Sony's yeah. still winning in terms of sales figures, but. How? Like a lot. <laughs> How? <laughs> I don't know. People like the PS4. I don't really understand it, to be honest. <coughs> I've got one, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, what games do they really have? Well, that's the, the, the problem is the games don't appeal to us because we like driving games and all they've really got is like Drive Club and GT Sport, but people buy it for like Uncharted and... What was some other shit that came out? Just <laughs> truck if I know. Um. Fuck, 
What was it called? Uh, I can't remember. It was a big mm. deal. Sony exclusive. Came out a couple of years ago. Motorcycle okay. Club? No. <laughs> Rugby 15? That's on Xbox. <laughs> Firefighter Simulation. Wow. That's also on Kingdom Xbox. Kingdom Hearts 3, no. Final Fantasy. No. Kingdom, Kingdom of 3 is actually on Xbox 2. Final Fantasy 2. Um, I can't remember the name of it. It had like a dragon in it, I think, or something. Spyro? No. I can't remember. Anyways, I mean, the thing is for me, I'm always gonna be more Xbox oriented because Xbox has Forza and I like Forza. So. But Forza doesn't <coughs> sell. Well, it sells, but it doesn't like. You know, and obviously they've Bottom got the whole PC shit Microsoft has now, which is sort of killing yeah. them. They're, they're basically shooting board? themselves in the foot to gain more money, technically through PC players, which it actually isn't a bad idea. Again, and Microsoft would still rather you buy an Xbox, but they give you the option now, which is kind of cool. Do not be surprised if Microsoft wins the next generation. Well, I mean, technically Nintendo's won it now, but, you know. Because, I think the Switch is at, like, 20 million sales or something like that. It's ridiculous. Easy. The Nintendo Switch is actually on track, currently, like, in the next year to beat the Xbox One sales. Well, that's Nintendo. They but I mean, the that. thing people forget about Nintendo is like, oh yeah, that's all well and great, but Nintendo's actual console to compete with the PS4 and Xbox One was the Wii U. And oops. It's nice, but... <coughs> I mean, there's there's a big fat problem with the Nintendo. Go on. They have no third-party support. Well, the, the, the thing is with Nintendo is people like... I still find it silly if you say Nintendo's like the third console manufacturer where it's like Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo. <coughs> Nintendo's just in its own fucking little bubble. <laughs> yeah. And they don't give a fuck, and I sort of commend them and also dislike them for it. Nintendo is AMC. Yeah, Nintendo's just sort of that weird company that just sort of gets on with its... I mean, the only difference is they're AMC but not bankrupt. Because I think they said something like, Nintendo can literally make no money for the next 252 years, and still be in business. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nintendo has all the world's money, so it's all good. Goodwood Festival speed car back and track expansion would be good for the Horizon 4 second expansion. I wouldn't count on it, but it'd be cool. I don't know what the second expansion's gonna be. Well, they got all the money in the world, but they can't produce it. Aldi car park who neg <laughs> Fuck off. They can't they, they can't produce a decent car park. Mm. I mean people seem to like the switch. I just don't understand it. The problem is the only Nintendo console that they've made in like the last twenty years that I actually I mean, want is the fucking SNES classic, so I can play Super Mario World. Well. To be honest, to be honest, I just understood the Wii U more than the Switch. I don't understand either of them. <laughs> like, for me, to me, the Switch just seems like the Wii U again. I mean, I, but it's portable, I think. Well, the, well, the fucking Wii U thing was portable. Yes. Yeah, I just don't know. Because the Switch can, like, dock it, but what's the point of docking it? Why would you not? It's just stupid. Problem with the Switch, the uh, Wii U controllers only lasted about five hours. So it's basically PSP. Mm. But yeah, I don't understand. But I love. The worst bit like is you're the Nintendo fanboy, so you should like I mean, understand I... this shit. I like to play Black Ops Two on the Wii, on the Wii U. Yeah, Black Ops Two on Wii U is pretty good because it actually looked better than the PS3 and Xbox One versions. I actually kind of like the Wii U. I was gonna buy that one was... a couple years ago. <laughs> That was the only game I bought for it. <laughs> I like Mario Kart and shit. 
The problem I have with Nintendo is they never really do anything new, and I don't... Don't get me wrong, I love the Mario games, okay. but like, I'm not gonna buy a console just to play Mario. Well, here, well, here's, the, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing I hated about the, the Wii U. Mm -hmm. Is that the games that I wanted before didn't appreciate? <laughs> also, Tim mm -hmm. said discount on Valve's and displacement upgrades by Hyundai. I, nice. I bet you right now, if I go to Walmart, Mario Kart 8 is still Mario Mario Kart 8 is still about eighty dollars. Well, they remade it for the Switch, I think, so it might be a bit yeah. cheaper. Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. But yeah, like I just don't understand. And Smash, I don't really and, understand Nintendo consoles. Yeah, and Smash Bros. U is probably still like eighty dollars. Yeah. Even though the Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Switch came out. Yeah. But, like, don't get me wrong, I still kind of want a SNES Classic. I might invest in those <coughs> at some point. Before they go ridiculously overpriced. Because I like Super Mario World. <laughs> Basically. It is a good game. Oh, it's a fantastic game. Mm-hmm. I never, I never assumed you to be a fan of Mario, to be honest. I've always... Yeah. The Mario games, I don't get a lot of time to play them because I didn't really have a bunch of Nintendo consoles. Like, growing up, the only Nintendo consoles we had was like a SNES, which obviously I played Super Mario World on. My Advance SP, which I played Super Mario Bros. 3 on, and then a GameCube, which we didn't have a Mario game for. I had Pikmin sure. for the fucking GameCube, that was a great game. <coughs> you should have gotten Double Dash, that was great. Yeah. We had on the game on the GameCube. We had fucking Pikmin, eighteen wheels of steel, which was like an oh. arcade port, and that was great. Did, did that actually fucking? Oh my god! They yeah. came on the fucking GameCube. Yes, I had Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, which is a great game. There's like a platformer with an Australian thing and different boomers. I like I like the days of old crap mascot platformers. And what else did we have? We had Pikmin, and I think we had some other shit. Oh, we had Burnout 2. That was it. But that wasn't very good. Mainly because I played like Burnout 3 before I played Burnout 2. I was like, I want to take people out. <laughs> what is this shit? Well, as far as the game, it was alright. I mean, if you paid yeah. Burnout 1, then Burnout 2 have been like, okay, this is alright. The improvement of Burnout 1. Hot Pursuit, Hot Pursuit 2 for. GameCube is weird. Bad. Yeah, because Hop Soup 2 was like made by a different company for everything apart from PS2, wasn't it? With Black Box, maybe. Yeah. And apparently the PS2 version is the best version or something. Yeah, the Hop Pursuit 2 for the game. I had. <laughs> when I played Hop Pursuit 2, I had to use the automatic transmission because the gearing is all weird. Oh god, I can imagine manual on a GameCube controller is the worst thing in the world. Yes! It really isn't. Because the GameCube controller is like one of the weirdest fucking... It's just... I don't understand it. <laughs> Nintendo's never really done a good job well, of controllers, really, have they? The, the GameCube controller looks weird, but it works. Yeah, it was pretty decent. Like, it felt good in your hands and everything, but... Nintendo's never really been able to do controllers, have they? Like, the no. NES controller was just uncomfortable as fuck. The yeah. SNES controller's too small. The Nintendo 64 controller's a joke. The GameCube <laughs> one's just... weird, but kind of works, I guess. And then they apparently have since given up on controllers. Yeah. Like, they have the Wii, which was... You know, the controller's basically just your house and your sofa and the dog yeah. if it decides yeah, well, okay. <laughs> the Wii U you know, just had itself and the Switch I have no idea what the fuck like, well, they have the Joy-Cons which apparently like you can use one of or two of or use both of them it, it, it just doesn't make sense yeah well um, they do actually have what they call pro controllers which are basically like your typical um PlayStation or Xbox. Oh yeah, controller the Pro Controller is the one where you could buy it but, for COD 4 on Wii and cheat it because the sniper rifles. Here's the thing. Swing. 
there is something right. Unlike um, PlayStation and Xbox, you know, how well, they have it like a <coughs> ABX, like on an Xbox. <coughs> but yeah. here's the thing B is the one that uh, progresses you through the menus, and that's where it usually Circle is. Yeah, that's, an in that's a thing, though, isn't whereas, it? Whereas A is the one that backs you out of menus, and it's really confusing. Yeah, that's how the Japanese do it, though, isn't it? Because Japanese yeah, PlayStation the, games, Circle is X, yeah, X and X is no. It's, it's, yeah, it's the, um, it's, it's the opposite. Ugh. And for whatever reason, they decided not to translate that into Europe, and as a result, we all think, think that's fucking weird. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know why everyone just doesn't do the Xbox controllers. Yes, Xbox controllers are ugly as fuck, but they work. Yeah. Just like the GameCube <laughs> controllers. Yeah, the GameCube controller is ugly as sin. At least it's better than the N64. <laughs> yeah, again, the N64 <laughs> yeah. controller is just a fucking joke. It's like, the N64 hey. controller is a fucking penis. Yeah, oh yeah, because it has that like weird thing strutting out of it with the joystick, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I've never played an N64, I never really particularly want to. I... Uh, we... I did, uh, we had a, um... Or back in the day we had like a McDonald's that had like a... Arcade machine looking thing. Alright. With N64 controllers, you can play like SSX on it. Oh, uh, oh yeah, we used to have. Um, I'm not gonna say the name of the place because it gives away shit. But we used to have a. There was like restaurants around here that had like play centers. And yeah. one of the things that were there was like a big PS1. I think every I place think, had like PlayStation <laughs> 1. Yeah, I think that was our our kind of play place. But instead of like a, having like a ball pit and shit, we had like a. <coughs> Computer looking thing. Interesting. With a big N64 poking out of it. We just had like a ball pit and shit, but then they had a PlayStation which was like protected with its life. And they had like <laughs> controls. That were, I think it had like Spyro or Crashers and shit on it. I don't remember. Mm. Meanwhile, PlayStation DualShock is a controller. Oh god, I, I, I can actually be a, a non-homologated light for my car. Homologated? No, I mean, a rally, a rally, I can actually be a rally light that's not legal on the road. <laughs> you need spotlights for your car, that's what you need. Oh, I found it. I found one I mean, I, 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 I oh already god. have. I, my fucking light are Xenon, I still halogen, but Xenon like, and they have fucking blinding shit. Oh yeah, my lights are supposed to be like by Xenon, but they literally just look like normal lights. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe if they are not great, I mean, also, I mean, you know that you cannot change Xenon light thing, but... I'm gonna put the thing in the rest channel. Oh, you know that? Don't you? What? I mean? That you can't change uh, Xenon Knight yourself? <laughs> no. I'll just take it to Halford's. Yeah, yeah, but you can't... No, actually, it's not just saying that to Spike Hazard because you won't do anything in, in your car yourself. It's because you actually can't, because... It's no, you... Be. You can't do <laughs> it. Yeah, it's a, it's a mess, because... But yeah, the uh, fucking... I'll, t I'll try it. Fun story for you. <coughs> yeah. It's happening. What? My ability to drive manuals is being impaired. Oh god. I had to move my mother's car the other day. First thing I did when I got in was press the brake to start it. Which is something... You're, you're, you're a fucking dumbass. Which is something I do in the Accord. I don't know if you have to do it in the Accord. But every single time I start a manual car I like put the clutch down. And I went straight for the brake. Um, <coughs> And I also then proceeded to drive off without having the headlights on because my car has automatic headlights, so I'm not used to turning them on. <laughs> I mean, my, my car, car has automatic headlights. headlights. It's called leaving them on. Yeah, you see, I don't do that because it's a battery drain. But then again, I just have the auto lights because my car has more sensors in it. Um, but, I mean, my gear shifting and stuff, I can still operate a clutch, but 
that's probably going to diminish at some point. It doesn't really matter because I'm never going to drive a manual as like a daily car ever again, so. Well, at least I don't plan to. Because automatics are just better. <coughs> Forgetting to stiff shift? Is this loss? Yeah. <laughs> is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Quite a landslide. You know, escape from reality. But yeah, fucking N64 controls are not good. No, I remember our game used to have Xbox Ones and PS4s. And I like played Forza 5 twice on that before I actually bought it. I made a wooden Ford Fiesta at one point. And then the next time I like did a random race at Mount Panorama. So I'm actually loving my ass off. Mm. There is there is one type of let off uh, Lights for the that are compatible with my car. Racing Vision, they call. Racing Vision. Racing Vision, yes. Nice. I don't know why racing, but yeah. All right, I had to ask Emil. Mm -hmm. Did you use for third person view for the fucking uh, twin mill? <coughs> no. <laughs> All cockpit mode. Hence why I said the visibility in it is fucking shit. Because basically in the twin mill it's got them two big engine things, right? Yeah, you got the I, I know what the cockpit view looks like. Yeah, <laughs> basically <laughs> here's the here's the issue. You can't look into corners because one engine blocks it. You can't look straight ahead because one engine blocks it. So basically you have to look down the middle, which is basically useless ninety five percent of the time. But yes, believe it or not, I did actually drive everything in cockpit mode, as I always do. It oh, wasn't everything fun. else is... <laughs> everything else is alright. No, the bone shaker's a bit stupid. Well, the bone shaker, all you have is that fucking big, huge gear stick sticking out of the fucking... Yeah. Suzuka full circuit. Well, reality sets in when you realize Ludo is a real person. <laughs> no, that's a bad thing, hey. it just makes the world a little more different. Hey, mm. go, f go fuck yourself. I'm... Yeah. Ludo is a real person, believe it or not. Ludo. What? What other fucking. I said Ludo, around? not Ludo. Fucking. Uh. Ludo. Welcome oh. to Suzuka. It's in Alabama. <laughs> 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 huh? You rip rod should be alright for seeing. Well, the rip rod you'd think is terrible because it has that red tinted windows, but thankfully you can't see that in actual mode, so it's better. The rip rod's amazing, by the way. I love El um, Ripper Rodo. Do you love this car, though? The HKS. Yeah. It's not bad. Nah, yeah, fair enough. It's a bit forgettable to drive, but you know. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's quicker than everything else here. It's also cool because it's a unique car to this game. Yeah. And it has like a invisible HKS thing on the thing. Hello fanboy the Viper fifty seven, how you doing buddy? Oh. <coughs> oh, that name. Yeah. I don't have dildo money, Luda. <laughs> what? It's... Why do we have... The worst bit is Ludo is like a very sexual human being, but he's entirely not gay, so it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean I'm not fucking gay, I'm not as yeah. well. Oh, that out too. Oi! Yeah, you're gay, you fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. I mean, the world knows at this point. What? That I'm not gay? No. Yes. It, it's like the unquestionable facts of life. The earth is flat, as so is gay. Oi! Hi, mate! Oh, did you know they're banned off YouTube now? What? Mm -hmm. Conspiracy videos, including videos about the earth being flat, are banned. Shit! <coughs> yeah. 
Well, where would I get my 9-11 controversy videos now? <laughs> yeah, that's actually one of They used three examples, one where the Earth was flat, one where someone said 9-11 was an inside job, then also, like, one about the Holocaust, I think. Yeah, oh, you gotta, God. You gotta, you gotta upload your fucking co uh, conspiracy videos on Pornhub now. Yeah. What are you currently doing in Forza 3? I'm doing the Class B World Championships in the Hyundai HKS Genesis. This is episode 106. Driving. We just drove the ugliest car in the world in the last episode, the Sparta Venture Sport. The car that I wish was driven by Phil Collins. I can feel it coming in the ears, mate. Sure. I know Ludo isn't gay, he has waifus. <laughs> I mean, yes. Confirmed to you first. Ludo isn't gay, he's just lonely. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you get this. <laughs> you fucking cut it, mate. I'm confused. I'm always confused by everything. Sorry, I'm remembering okay. Slipknot songs again. <laughs> you know what? Let, let's 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 be at night for my freaking car. Yeah. Azur, I'm looking at lights. Like, Azur is a treasure. Put some respect on his name. Azur deserves that noise. Azur deserves nothing. Except love. The, the, the mm. day I put respect on Naz's name is the day I subscribed to Boots and Ethanol. Yes. Back to me, goddammit. <laughs> uh, no. Who the fuck is Boots and Ethanol? Some egotistical Some comment. twat. Yeah. Oh, the shit channel. Mm -hmm. Hashtag shit channel for wankers. A shit channel for wankers. <laughs> Fucking hell. Poor Boost. And Ethanol. Make sure you sh subscribe. Subscribe to Tim Westwood TV. T yeah, to Tim Westwood TV. And Tamps. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking that music video is the best. We just drags that guy out of a golf GTI and he's just sat there laughing. <laughs> like the guy who gets dragged out of the car just sits there laughing. <laughs> yeah, there's one thing for certain. You're never gonna get those CDs back. Won't get none of your CDs back. <laughs> Fucking Temps is great. I don't know if Temps made anything else after that, but who cares? So, Emil. Yeah. If all goes according to plan, next month I'm gonna look into booking my carbon to get clutch done. Huh, <laughs> get it according. according no. Okay, cool. Can't wait. Are you sure you can't? Yeah, we'll have a drag race, I'll win. No shit. Your we'll car makes like 10 more horsepower than it did. Probably. It has an air filter. Mm. And Mill, the box does say you might win the drag race, but I'll win the fucking miles per gallon challenge. No, I'll win that. No, you won't. If we go on a motorway, I'd fucking decimate Death. you. Mate, I'm on 23.5 average. Mate, on a motorway, I average 50. Yeah, I haven't been on the motorway. Around the town, it, I think my average is currently like 19.3, but that's because the car's been sat in traffic most of this week. Ow! I mean, my average speed is 13, so... It's going well. <laughs> yeah, just northerner <laughs> things. Yeah. It doesn't need any petrol. Cars. People are actually subscribing to Boost. Believe it or not, yes. Mm-hmm. They should subscribe, do more important things. Subscribe to Paul of Vortex Chan at OnlyFans. Don't fucking OnlyFans. Dot com. The fact that I'd know what that is is probably the worst bit. Ha! <gasps> ah. Oh no, why is that in my head now? What? The GTA <sighs> 4 rap. What? The GTA 4 rap. Come to my shed and play GTA till half past ten. <laughs> There's a Toyota Tercel wagon for for sale and I want it. Nice. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Bolt with an AK when I come through? Like Nico Bellic when I come through? Got a big Desert Eagle when I come through? No, I got Packy, Dwayne, and Brucey in my crew. Um, Scotian. Oh, so, so, 
My son is selling his 1973 Nova, though. Not at Zest. So why are you selling it for a grand? <laughs> Scotia, you know what you really want? A Honda Civic Shuttle. Well, not this fucking Nova. You want a Civic Shuttle? The Civic Shuttle's the best vehicle. Piece of shit, uh, Honda 1987 Honda Accord. More like shittle. What engine does it have? An engine. <laughs> In sight by Scotian Racer. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I can tell oh, you okay, well, I can through like Nico. Oh, I can come through. Got a big I can tell you right now. It's probably. I can tell you right now. It's probably a four-cylinder. Probably. Yeah. I mean, six-cylinder records only really exist in the U.S. So. We got Three like four cylinders are just better. We got like one six-cylinder record. B sixteen, hey. That's a four-cylinder, one point six. Yep. Because Honda B names zero. their engines well. I'm but like, yeah, sorry, but we got like a three liter. I think we got like a three liter V6 called Coupe in like the 90s, and that was it. Yeah, like. Like, um. Like America, where they fucking. Get confused halfway through and naming their fucking engines. Yeah. But yeah, the, v the V6 called like makes it like 200 horsepower, so it's. Yeah. Ironically enough, despite being the sports accord, the Acura TSX only ever came with four cylinders until like the second gen. And then they decided to put a big still, V6 in it. I still have no idea what the point of the Cleveland was. The what? The Cleveland. Is that an engine? Yeah. Which one? That's the engine that got, that's in the 70. The early 70s Mustangs and the Cougar. What engine is it? It's a big block to go... It's a sister big block to the Windsor small block. Uh, reliability maybe? <laughs> oh, just for people to go, no replacement for displacement. Well, they only came in like... They only came in 351 cubic inch if I remember correctly. Because yeah, there was the Windsor block, small block, the Cleveland. Hey! Finally, after 106 episodes, we reach car level 5 with a car, which is the max level. We Yay! get a 10 cent discount on twin screen superchargers by Blitz. And we also get a 5 game score achievement. Hey. Which means we've now officially leveled up as much as we can do. Also, New York Full Circuit, dear God. We've now leveled up something as far up as it can go. Car level 5 and driver level 50. So there you go. Way! The end of the road for everything. There is no more leveling after that. So you're basically no more let's play. So you're basically just driving for money. Yeah. yeah there's the... In, we had in the 60s and 70s the... Windsor small block. The Cleveland block. And mm. the big F... Big... The FE big block, which is the Cobra jet engine. Nice. Family. Accord V6 is a more common name to a Camry V6 coupes. <laughs> Fucking, oh yeah, the Solara. That's what you want, Scotian. No. Everyone wants a Camry Solara. Yeah. No. Listen, there was the best car in Forza Motorsport 1. <laughs> I'd rather have this 1972 Pontiac Le Mans. Fucking hell. So, um, I'm doing a thing for some reason. No, I'm no. I'm on a place I'm on a place that uh, basically that's sold parts from uh, cars that are wrecked and shit, mm -hmm. and I'm checking and I'm checking that thing called Honda Civic. Oh god! What well, do you want to see more wrecked Honda Civics? No, I, I want to be I I want to see if I can find Civic bits. So if I do, I can be shit one and be shit parts, put them on it. It will be cheaper. Oh my god! Oh, they said, they said bit mm. for the Civic! They said. Uh, uh, okay, guys. Guy I, I, I'm going to <laughs> What you found, Ludo? Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. They have everything Neil? I need. 
He's died, I think. Oh, am I dying? No, no wait, I heard you. It's Discord shitting and stuff. Oh. Yeah. I've just okay. seen something amazing on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, Where God. did you see? Monster Energy Cams for 50p. They're the Black Ops 4 ones. And yeah. some bastard's taking all the fucking ring pulls off. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. That's what I'd do. Yeah. So yeah, you know, I I I I'm having bad ideas. Like oh, I, I found that I can find basically uh, any kind of parts for a Civic. Right. And I may want to be a cheap one that may not may not be in the best state, but you know, to change the parts of it. If that's an idea you want to do, then go for it. You yeah, don't remember I mean, the chassis is something you can't really miss. Yeah, uh, you, you just send bolt bits and and, and up you, it's bolted. It's a Japanese it's car, though, easy yeah. to work. Yeah, yeah, it's... It, Unless it's, it's like, a 1990s Japanese car in which case all the bolts have rusted and you'll snap them. I mean, guess what you... Or it's you, a Subaru I mean, where everything is not a 10mm socket. <laughs> Fuck off. No, it isn't. <laughs> it really isn't. Like, half of them are like eight and a half. Yeah, it's... Okay. Max year 1995, yes, because I don't want anything later than 1995. Cut the bit. They lower the price. They lower the price to 1,800 euros. <laughs> Ludo, get an EK. No, fuck that. EK's I want an EG. Better. No, EG is better. No, EG is better. Shut up. EK. EKs are probably more expensive. Yeah, they are. But they're now over here, they're like... There's people trying to sell EKs for like 9 grand here, so... Oh, oh wait, it doesn't have MOT because pollution, I'm not touching that shit. Eh, it could just be an exhaust. Yeah, but I'm not touching it because it's Yeah, I can understand why not. I, I, I mean, if if I want to spend over 1,000 euro in a Civic, I'm taking one that, that's somewhat legit, you know? Mm. Like the other one that I have that is actually... Have, it does everything. It's it's a it's tighty green, <laughs> yes. That's not, that's actually the name of the thing. It has, it. I mean, and it basically has everything. I think it, it has MOT up to, up to twenty twenty, and the guy is going to redo it because you have in because he's actually not a, a dumbass and you have to do it in France. Horizon it's, Five should be set in either Indianapolis, Indiana, Indiana, or Saint Petersburg, Russia. I mean, it should be set in Saint Petersburg. Yeah, that'd be great. But yeah, I, 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 I know, I'm it's set in India. <laughs> Hello, welcome to India. Here is your choice of first car: Matuki, Suzuki, or Tata Nano. <laughs> oh, I could be, I could be a, a raced EJ6. I mean, there is one. Suddenly, EJ6 are getting rarer and rarer. People freaking raise them. Oh well, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a but, Civic. <laughs> That's what they exist for. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I mean, can they raise the shitty ones and leave the EJ6 alone? No. No. Yeah. A Soviet car park would be joy to the sim racing world. Hashtag Skoda Estelle. I mean, the Skoda Estelle brings happiness to everyone. It's the Skoda Estelle. They like it. Oh fuck. Oh god! What? What is that? Hello, Mao. Look in response in when I tell you to look in. You're going to like it. You're going to like it. I'm going to. I think you're lying, I don't particularly like that. <laughs> best, best Civic, right Emil? No, oh, god, I'm looking at it. <laughs> Civic Shuttle, that's the best Civic, you have to see it. Asa, don't you like that? No! Why? 
It's 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 the be it's it's a beautiful car, mate. Don't lie, as I you love it. I hate that cunt spoiler on it. <laughs> it does. There is not one. There is two. And I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I hate the cunt one. The one that's just in the middle for some reason. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why is it there? Why Proton it car pack. <laughs> Maybe not. Yes. <laughs> No, yes. fuck off. I want a proton larger. No, you don't. Yeah, we we'll do. Car. Morris car pack. It's the best way to no, experience. No, Morris can get fucked. Actually, no, they'd bring, like, the Morris Maxi in the Molina. That'd be fine. Mm -hmm. no, thankfully, awesome. there's, like, literally only one more minor that makes any sense adding to that game, so. Mm -hmm. What? Actually, shit, there's two of them. Fuck. Oh, fuck. There's Which basically ones? the first generation and the last generation. Uh -huh. Like the first generation with the dopey what's face. The, what's the last generation? The one they made in like 1991. Because the they minor, made in uh, the, the, the minor lasted for years. I think it might have run until like the 80s and the 90s. They are horrid. Oh yeah. The wretched things. Yeah. Oh. No, you Take don't. it from someone who's driven, who's been in one. You don't want one. I've been in an MGB. It's the oldest car I've been in. To mm, my knowledge. I'm too tall. I'm too tall to be in a MGB. So. I went in a '77 MGB convertible, and I've also been in like a 1985 Peugeot 205 XS, which went round an autocross track. The only good Morris Minor was the one on Pimp My Ride UK. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Oh, the minor exists. Actually, no, Bez owned a taxi, didn't he? Oh, the minor existed until summer. Yeah, the minor lasted too long. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised they haven't added, like, a last gen mini yet to you know, like the 2000s mini. Well, I got the deliveries today, the delivery fucking thing to put in. They won't. What? Delivery minor. Delivery minor? Yeah, the one of the... Hmm. The, the Moore's minor van thing. Oh. Yeah, no. But yeah, but yeah honestly, the, the Civic I wish I could get is this one. It, it actually looks good. This one looks good. I and a Morris Miter pickup. Yes, I, I see. No. We added that Volkswagen thing recently, that's enough for me. <laughs> Look at this engine. The, the, the shitty 1.4 and the car. It's beautiful. I want all the miners in the game. No, you don't. We, we know you're a pedophile. We know. <laughs> Ludo. What? Don't buy a Civic, buy a fucking a Bath Punto. I thought you were going to say buy a no, fuck, No, fuck that shit! And the Bath no, Punto! No! A Bath Punto is fucking cool! You can't insure what? it, it's too powerful. Yeah, I, I can insure the Civic, and I can kill myself in it too. <laughs> yeah, you've proven that. Yeah. You didn't die, the car just did. Yeah, I mean... Uh, if it if wasn't it, for his car, he would have died. I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm going to be honest about something. If I, if I didn't have to fucking go, go away from where I was three weeks later, I would have repaired it, and I would have it still have it. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, we get because forty-one thousand credits. Yeah, when I see that, and, and when I see the fucking bumpers are cheap as fuck, <laughs> like no. Also, by the way, we are almost back to a million credits. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we move back into semi-pro once again as we take a look at the Class F Pre-2000s Asian Tour. That's very specific. I have no idea what we're going to be using for that episode, but join us for it regardless. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, uh, farewell.